believing in someone and something that you might not see, that you just can't explain, but you trust it. You trust them completely with your whole heart, with your whole life. We, as Christians, as believers, have faith in Jesus, that he is our Lord and Savior, that he laid his life on the cross so that we can have life for eternity. We have faith in God the Father, that he is with us, that he will provide for us, that he will take care of us. The issue at hand at times, though, is when we go through something, when things don't go our way, we begin to have our faith tested. We begin to go through trials, tribulations, temptation. Those are the times when we constantly question God. Lord, why are you letting me go through this? Lord, what did I do to deserve this? This question's been asked year after year, trial after trial. You're not the first person to ask God this. I believe people in the times of the scriptures, both in the New and the Old Testament, ask the same question. But the answer has always remained the same. The temptations that we face are not from God. He doesn't hang this sin in front of us and go, oh, here, here, go ahead and take it. No. The temptations that we face come from our own selfish desires. Another one of those my will versus God will moments. But the beautiful thing about life, the beautiful thing about our God, is that he uses moments of weakness, moments that when we face temptation, or moments when we go through trials, when we go through things that we just can't control, that we just can't comprehend. God uses those moments to give us an opportunity to grow. Growth is probably the hardest thing to do in life. Think about it physically. Some people grow too quickly for their bodies to handle, so they have stretch marks. Those are the scars to show that they were growing just too fast for their skin to hold up. And at times, we don't just grow physically, but we can grow spiritually. These are the moments when pressures, when things that we just can't control begin to push on us. And the question is, do we lean to God in those moments or do we just give up? In those moments those moments of weakness those moments of, of suffering do we look to God or do we just give up James tells us this in the very first chapter of his book dear brothers and sisters when troubles of any kind come your way consider it an opportunity for great joy for you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. James tells us to do the exact opposite of what our natural instinct is to do when we go through trials. We want to crumble and grumble. But James tells us to consider it a great joy to go through things. James is telling us that the opportunity to grow in our faith, spiritually grow, is so much greater than the things we go through. Because James already knew the fact that our Lord, our Savior is with us in every trial, in every temptation, that God is there with us. And that if we look to him, we will be provided for. We'll still go through that trial. We'll still go through that tribulation. But God is with us. And if we truly have faith in him, if we trust him with our whole life, he will provide for us. And as we trust in him completely, we begin to grow spiritually. 
we begin to face those trials and tribulations, those temptations, and we look at it a different way. Things that you used to struggle with, that you couldn't go a day without, God gives you the strength and the endurance to look at it and to walk away. That's what it means to have faith. Believe in something you can't see. Believe in the fact that Jesus came and laid down his life for yours. Believe in the fact that you were made in the image of the creator of the universe. Believe that if you have faith in him, that you can go through any trial and tribulation. I'm not trying to tell you today that God is going to give you things that you can handle. Because that's not true. You're going to go through things that you can't handle on your own. That if you try to hold all that weight on your shoulders, you're going to crumble. But the truth of scripture tells us that as we try to carry that weight by ourselves, as we try to carry the burden of whatever we're going through on our own shoulders, that Jesus has come to take away those burdens. That Jesus is willing to carry the load for you. So I tell you this, I urge you today to stop and to pray. I urge you to stop and to look in to God's word. I urge you to stop today and to have faith. Believe that the name of Jesus there is power. Believe that the Lord Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of the universe, made you. And even though you have failed, maybe even already today, that he has not given up on you. Have faith and believe that you can turn to him and ask for forgiveness and be forgiven. Be made new in the image of our Savior. So as you go through trials, go through life, when life hits you in the fields, consider it a great joy because now you have the opportunity to grow spiritually, to rely on your faith in the Lord and allow Him to provide for you, to take care of you.